Carter taking a big spill, taking out another rider. Two, guys, three, two, four, three four, five, oh, man, oh. they're all stacking up in there. I can't keep. Watch as Wyndham gets on the throttle, just gets wide, eclipses those. Get in my tough blocks. Oh, tough way to give him up. Dungy. Week's winner, Trey Kennard. There oh. he is on the 38 on the left side of your screen. Just tucks that front wheel and down he goes. Yeah, he tried to turn off of that final jump and lost track. Checkered flag for Hewitt, and the final transfer goes to Hugo, who has a vicious hit off the finish line jump. That's okay, Ralph. He's in the main event. Wow. And watch this. Remember, guys, in the heat race, Trey Kennard did the exact same thing. A little bit different scenario, but watch as he tries to cut over. He knows that Weimer's there, he can hear him, and he tries to really scrub that final jump at just where they bladed it with the dose. A little bit better stick. this time, he oh. makes his stick. Wharton goes off into the oh. switch stuff. And boy, Josh, that is a really tricky area when you get out there. Yeah, I had that same thing happen to me, and me but he did it. Oh, oh. no! Wharton down again! got early, interesting early in this one. Guys flying all over the place and off into the mud and the slop around the racetrack. You saw Michael Sleater going down. Look at this one. Another one off into the dirt. And he was just oh, and Dungey's down! Dungey goes down in the first corner with Bill Apoto. And Tommy Hahn. And Nick Way got the whole shot of the Monster Energy Kawasaki. Watch this. As, oh, he comes in and loses. His balance just gets too far to the inside, which is the right. He just passes it and just kind of slides out. You know, it looks like he was trying to square up with him a little bit. And he's going to try to do the same thing, that, uh, you know, that he did to Millsaps, but he just got the rear end out and did not get the drive across that net. First to the corner was Millsaps, and then he's down. And Josh Hill oh. takes the early lead. And Villapoto. Villapoto's in there as well. And Kennard on the 38. Oh, man. Oh, oh, Villapoto, look at Look, look at, at all the free. Oh, radiator, radiator, radiator fluid coming fluid's out. done. He's done. He is going to the last Son. chance. Right in the middle here, the oh. 806. You oh. tell me that Josh Lichtel didn't want to get that whole shot. He just absolutely powered to the ground. And watch that white front fender come up. Oh. He he needed to strap it. Line, he triples in. Now watch when he gets in here. Front wheel gets buried in the sand. Now that that sand doesn't really have a lot no. of stability. He got a great jump. You can see that as soon as he took off the gate. But he's got Villa Photo. Let's see what Josh can do. He had a gnarly practice crash. He kind of got hurt a little bit. So this actually might be good for him to be out front. One rider down in the pack. That was the 831 machine of Smith. Put him up front and close in. Watch Villapoto here, he triples in, and watch how wide he gets way out here by the tough box and buries it, loses traction in both tires. Right on it. And watch, he comes up a little short right here and still goes for it. Look at it, look how short he was. Ooh, watch him, wham. Oh, that's never good. Here's why Wyndham cut across the tracks. So he tries to triple out Ooh. there. See, Villapoto oh, okay. doing that all day long. Oh, wow. And Wyndham, see, the track is actually going this way here, and on top it's going this way. So Wyndham, he cut back this replay. This is what Villapoto was doing all day, was nailing this triple, tripling again. This is where he was gonna catch Dungeon. He comes up way short. Ooh. Stepped out of the way, but you seen as the bike landed, it just landed to the right of, of him, so kept from hurting himself, but that exhaust pipe just really drilled. Right into Pretty much, uh, you know, got into the into the jump and uh, went to scrub, and then uh, we, we changed up the bike actually a little bit, and uh, and that was the character of the bike. It just kind of was uh, unloading. This young lot. guy is really working oh. well on that big bike, and look at Tedesco and Langston. Oh, oh. 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 man! Oh, Grant Langston takes a vicious tumble. 
Well, we called it the Boulevard of Broken Dreams and Busted Bikes, and it bit Grant Langston. Oh, wow. This is Dungy. Washes it out, just gets on the throttle a little bit early, and then later on, in the exact same corner, as he's trying to chase down Villapoto for that fast time, makes another mental mistake. Now what a guy like Dungy's going to have to Every lap, all day long, with a lot of momentum. Oh! Porcel's down. down hard! He's down hard! We haven't seen that. Well, Let's see what happens to Metcalf. Oh, the 40 gets involved into that. That's Moss. Oh, and oh. Tapia jumped into the back of Moss is, is what happened. He tripled in, and Moss was only in a double single. They start pushy, pushing each other, having some words, but now it's a watch. Racing. Tapia seat bounces the triple and just goes flying over the bars. Watch this from behind right here. He doubles, and now see how Moss goes inside. Tapia seat bounces. Look how short he was. Three feet short, and not to mention, when he seat bounced that, it just ejected him over the bars. He slightly Watch here. This is the first lap, and look at everybody start to bunch up. Oh, and that's Sipes going Sipes down. there. Yeah, Sipes on the blue bike. I'm sure exactly who he hooked up with there, but uh, just kind of got a team. So let's see how this race shapes up. Porcel, you see him on the inside. Oh, uh -oh. a bunch of riders stacking up on the outside. Porcel snuck through. Barsha is involved in that. Oh, and a rider down. Oh, down hard off the start. Everybody else uh -oh. Uh -oh. stacking up some more. Have to wait and see who was. Watch this, Smith on the 87. Clark gets right up into him and sends him into the tough blocks. And then there goes the 806 right on into him. Davey's a rather big guy, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. Is that an Oh, getting uh -oh. shoved off. That looks like Rivas, who had the third place start and shuffled his way back. And now, as he tries to absolutely go in for it, and watch this here on the left of your screen, Tedesco gets in there, block pass, Braden goes down, way, Regal, everybody. Boy, the last chance qualifier was a rough ride for Manuel Rivas. Watch this, right up and over the berm while battling for. And it looks like Ivan Tedesco is going to get the spike hole shot. Watch what he does when he clips right there. Comes up a little short. Okay, now watch it tap right here and his tucks the front wheel just a little bit. On the second look, watch when he, off the final thing here, watch the handlebars twist right there. That was close because we saw a qualifying practice today. Oh, another guy just looking for a win. Watch the 108 here. Dean Wilson made the run on Baggett. And then went over the bars. Justin Sipes had a problem. And here's Sipes on the Kawasaki. You're coming across the whoops. Just starts to huck a buck a little. And well, see, he goes to, and he cuts across. He really needed to stay. He needed to stay high to the rider's right. But he tried to jump across to the left. And Watch got this it. replay here. Watch on the right-hand side of your screen here is Wilson. Comes in here, just loses traction. You see that line coming right through there. He just kind of scrubbed a little too hard. There went Metcalf high, and here comes Dobbs as well. Seif was running third. He's going for second, trying to steal the spot from Metcalf, and just, oh, just misses that one. And you can see he's oh. not moving. He smacked the ground. Earlier today in practice, Villapoto getting through the whoops, gets a little huckabuck going, goes over the bars, actually has the bike land on him. And this is after all that incident. And now it's kind of, oh! Body for motorcycle racing. Here are our Thor Air Force heat highlights from the second heat of the night, Jeff. And this is a pretty good one, too. Big crash at the beginning. Oh, this one okay, this was all set up by all this lap traffic that did not get out of the way for Dungey and Filippano. Just hammers the throttle, takes a bump down, and look what a scramble it is for both riders to get up. See, Filippano sees the opening and just hammers it right there. Draws a really wide line. Our Toyota move of the wow. race, and they scramble to get up. I would be so fired up right now. I would focus and I would dig as deep as I can to try to.
first look at Jake Weimer. Oh, and down he goes! Weimer is into the tuck blocks. And into a massive water hole. Oh, boy. 126 bobble here. You see, he goes wide, and he gets up high and gets his weight to the left side of the bike, gets a little cross rutted and then just lays the bike down. So frustrating for Hunter Hewitt. He was so close. It's off. The oh. Geico Power Sports Honda is in the early lead and then has a big problem and he's down. Kennard is One down. Lap ago, he made the same mistake. He comes up short, gets a bad bounce here. He did the same thing last lap, but he managed to keep his balance. This time, the weight just goes to the right-hand side and he lays it over. Right now, the heart rate's here go. on your right. Joey Ruminer goes down here, and uh, AMA opts to stop the race, but he does get up. Watch him coming through the first set of whoops. He gets a little sideways and really gets bucked over the top of the bike. You see him, see him getting back to the bike there. Going to be really disappointed because that was a great cut inside. Oh, oh, he gave it everything he had and ran right into the finish line jump pole. And I'm telling you, he, he got on the gas so early and spun down. The outside gets it with uh, uh, Kilbarger. Kilbarger, Levi on the... Oh, one rider down hard. Right there near the front yeah. of the pack. Right to the front. One more turn to the checkered flag. awaits Tapia. Oh, oh he gets into Kilbarger. And coming through is going to be Adams. Adams is going to get... The just blocked up there, and Wilson goes wide open down the left-hand side, gets the front wheel over and over the bars. Oh, heartbreak, he was in a podium position. Oh. Supercross in Vegas is underway, and Barsha's down. Justin Barsha with a great hole shot, leads him over the ski jump, the fireworks go off, and he went right down. Who's going to come out into the stadium with the lead? It looked like Lipinovich. Tickle had the hole shot, but oh, he's not going to have the lead. Oh, man. Oh, he's off the track. He gets the track. Punted. He oh, lost about 10 spots there. And another rider goes down. That's the 677, it looks like. See what some of the action behind him has been like. Well, watch this replay. That's Kilbarger on the 412. And Borkenhag, he gets to the inside. And he's trying to get some bonuses here from his sponsors to get those close-up shots. That's Tanner. Here he comes again. Right into Kennard. 